What's up guys, I'm here with another video, and today I am going to review the Bandai Movie Monster Series Godzilla Singular Point figure. And I got this off Amazon for a pretty good price, and he's on there right now, so if you want to get him, get him, because he is a really good figure. So let's just now get to review this guy. Okay, so to begin, to begin... Let's look at the sculpt and paint and all of that. So, this looks really accurate to the show. You look at his face, it looks really accurate. The face looks really accurate. The whole body looks accurate. The tail isn't as long as it is in the show. But yeah, again, it's okay for a soft final figure. Yeah, again, you really get each spike on the neck right here and right here all silver paint and yeah again all the nails are painted same with the feet as well this part is not painted so yeah again that is a little gripe but it's not that noticeable yeah again the top of the neck it's not fully painted. There is some spikes that are painted, but not fully. So that, yeah, again, is also a little bad. Uh, the teeth are painted, which are great. You get, we could focus. All the teeth are painted. And the tusks as well. The eyes are painted a yellow color. This whole figure is like a greenish color. Anyways, uh, we, get him, we get the silver paint all on the dorsal plates and ending right here and then we just get the grit night it's not even painted which is a bummer because that's what bandai is usually doing with their figures and yeah again it's bad stop stop doing that bandai paint the whole figure please for the love of god and overall yeah the the figure sculpt looks really nice on this here's the back too and the bottom of it, I mean, really nice. Now, one thing that he does have in the show is that you can see, like, red veins, I think, that are going through the dorsal plates, and they didn't include that into this figure. So, yeah, again, that is a gripe. But, overall, nice paint and nice sculpt. It looks great. It looks great next to other Godzillas. But if you really like detail on this, like, good detail, you might want to customize it or wait until the SH release. Or if you like more posability at your figures, maybe you can custom with that. I know EGM that does the stop motions did a custom on his figure, so that's supposed to come out soon. But anyways, yeah. So nice paint, nice sculpt. Let's get to the articulation. So, the articulation articulation on this guy is really basic. You're going to get a swivel at the arms. And another one. And then the legs are just going to move a full 360. That's it. That's all you're getting with the, with the articulation for this guy. Not a lot, but yeah, again, it's pretty cool. You know, you can do some... I mean, that's all we... We really need with this figure. They could have included it with the tail or something, but that's okay. The neck, not, no. I mean, I would consider this all, you know, not articulated unless it was like a ball joint. But no, if you'd have to swivel it, then that wouldn't look as good. But yeah, so that's all the articulation with this figure. And yet again, if you look, the toes, if we could focus, are a little bit chipping, and also the back of the toe is not fully painted. That's how I got mine. Yeah, I mean, pretty cool. It's a good figure overall. And, yeah. Alright, so now let's check out the tag for uh, Singular Point. When you look at it, it's a cool picture of Singular Point. 
see the Godzilla 2021 thing on there and it says uh, Godzilla Ulti Ultima. Check out the back. It remi really reminds me of Shin Godzilla. I mean, here, I'll show you guys. I mean, that really looks similar enough for that. Like, Toho does that with older Godzilla. Really older Godzilla designs. But yeah, again, here's Bandai. It says Bandai in there. Get all of this, so if you like to read that, then you can. Here's the inside as well. So, yeah. Pretty neat tag, I gotta say, at least. So, yeah. Let's move on to comparisons. So, just to compare to compare this guy with some other figures, here's some Funko Pops that I'm comparing them with. Here's an SH figure, a NECA figure, and a Bandai figure comparing with the Ultima figure as well. Here's the Godzilla vs. Kong movie uh, compared with the singular point figure. And last but not least, here he is next to the, all of the figures I have in the wave, which is the Manda. And the, I'm pretty sure, uh, Tetris. I'm not fully sure, uh, uh, yeah, I'm not fully sure, but, yeah, I'll find out. So that's him with the other wave. I soon have Varian and, uh, the other form of Godzilla coming. The one that looks like Titanosaurus. So those two are coming soon. So, yeah. So I would have to be lying if I said that this figure was bad. This is a really good figure, overall. I mean, you could really do some really cool display pieces with this guy. I made the smoke for him, like, well, for my display, so it would be all smoky and stuff. And this really does the trick, and it just really looks badass. I mean... There's flaws with it, but I gotta say, if you want the newest Godzilla form, and if you really like Godzilla, you like the singular point form, the design of it, get him. He's really cool, he's great, and he's a great piece to add to your Godzilla figure collection. So I hope you liked this video, and yeah, I enjoyed making it, and... Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace.